It's a hairy Ice Age animal that's been extinct for thousands of years, though it continues to fascinate many around the world. These incredible creatures survived for millennia until about 10,000 years ago. Now, according to the scientists, their fossilized tusks can tell us a lot about how they lived and died. Joining Dennis Ward earlier to talk about a new study that tracked a female woolly mammoth's lifetime movements is one of its researchers. Professor Matthew Wooler is the director of the Alaska Stable Isotope Facility at the University of Alaska Fairbanks. Professor Wooler, thanks for being with us. You're welcome, thank you for having me today. Uh, can you tell us uh, about this study and how it is used, uh, how a woolly mammoth's tusk to learn about her life and death? Yeah, so we analyzed uh, the isotope chemistry along a tusk that was found in an archaeological context. And we used that data that we found from the tusk to overlay on a map of the chemistry across Alaska and the Yukon. And we were able to figure out where this mammoth uh, moved. And we found that the mammoth actually spent the last few years of its life in an area where you have the highest density of the earliest archaeological sites in Alaska. And that's in one of those swamp point where the mammoth was found. Can you explain how this study shows uh, woolly mammoths lived alongside early indigenous peoples in North America? Well, we know, we know that they uh, lived alongside uh, people for a number of reasons. One is there's uh, a number of archaeological sites, some of the earliest archaeological sites that actually have the remains of mammoths in them. Uh, we know that mammoth uh, ivory was used as uh, tools, manufacturing of tools by early people. And uh, so we know from the dates on mammoths and we know from the dates on archaeological sites that people and mammoths overlapped by about a thousand years um, in Alaska and in the Yukon for sure. Cool stuff. Uh, what does scientific evidence say about early humans and the extinction of woolly mammoths? Did they have a hand at all in their disappearance? I think, uh, I think the evidence seems to point that they almost certainly played a part, but it, uh, some people believe that it was the dominant part to the extinction, um, but uh, I, I don't really believe that. Uh, at this time, at 14,000 years ago, uh, as mammoths were going extinct, sure, you had people arriving into interior Alaska, but you also had a kind of a roller coaster of climate change that was also going on as you came out of the Ice Age and we started to get a warming and wetting environment that really changed the environment for mammoths. So, and changed it in a way that wasn't great for mammoths. All right. Well, biotech company Colossal says it will have the science to de-extinct woolly mammoths by 2027. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Well, I should, I should be uh, upfront. I mean, I serve on the scientific advisory board for the bioscience company Colossal. Um, and uh, I, I think uh, the thing I think about this is that if we are to de-extinct uh, mammoths, um, then we're gonna need kind of studies like uh, we've put out, uh, better understanding their movement patterns, their ecology, where they like to eat, um, as well as some of the genetic information that you're gonna need uh, to do that de-extinction. De so I think we, the more we learn about mammoths, um, the better. Well, Dr. Willers, some pretty interesting stuff. Uh, appreciate you taking some time for us to talk about it today. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate it.